<laughs> Respect my authority. The narcissist has spoken. How dare you question them, you insolent child. You see, what your feeble brain is failing to understand is that the narcissist has done all the things that they have done for perfectly good, sensible reasons. Reasons that you can't understand because you're either not clever enough or not bright enough or you've got your own problems that just stop you seeing the world properly. So what you need to do is just bow down to their authority because they've got it all right. It's unreasonable that you're complaining. It's, it's, if you feel bad about something they've done, that's your problem to deal with because they've done what they've done for exactly the right reasons and that's all there is to it. It won't matter that you've been hurt. It doesn't matter how you feel about things because the reasons for whatever it is they've done are perfectly sound. Good luck trying to get around that. And to them, those reasons are perfectly sound, right? To them, that's fine. They're right. You're wrong. And you're doing that thing again. You're such a pain in their sight. It's a difficult thing to live with, isn't it, when it's being done to you? It's a very difficult thing to live with. It's a horrible thing to live with, especially if you happen to disagree with your particular narcissist, which is probably very often the case, because believing you're right and being right are seldom the same thing. You just have to kind of put up with it. If you're on the receiving end of it, you kind of just have to deal with it, because trying to convince your narcissist that they were wrong is going to drive you mad. This is the problem with being around them. They drive you mad. Right? You're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to convince them. You're not going to break through that wall of defense that shows them that they were wrong. And if they think they're wrong, if they know you're right, then that wall of defense is even thicker. There's no breaking through it, right? There's no getting through to it. And from the other side of that wall, speaking as a narcissist, it's a very head-in-the-sand way of dealing with things. Especially if you've figured out that you were wrong, right? Especially if you've just gone off and done something and you, you decided your reasons were fine, that everything would be all right, and then you discovered it wasn't. And, oh, damn, there you are stuck in this situation. So what do you do? Oh, of course I'm right. It's just you making noise. You're wrong to be upset. Get some Davo going, you know? Really take control of that situation because, of course, you were right. And it's such a horrible thing to have to deal with, to have to one day say, oh, God, yeah, I was actually wrong there. Actually, yeah, it is a, a horrible thing, if I'm honest. There are plenty of things you have to say sorry for when you start becoming self-aware. This is the blissful ignorance of not being self-aware that people get to do this. It's a horrible thing that we do as narcissists, potentially, and it's a horrible thing to be on the receiving end of. And it's even more infuriating when I tell you, no, there's nothing you can do. You can wait until your narcissist has a breakthrough in general. I, I don't see a way to winning these little battles that go off within the bigger war i don't think there is one they will just stick to their guns that you are wrong that they are right and as long as that's the wall they put up you will eventually get tired and walk away and what you should do is just walk away it's a very difficult thing to do especially if it's with somebody that you care about but sadly sometimes the best line of defense is to remove yourself from the situation because we're talking about the unaware narcissist. We're talking about somebody who has no clue what harm they're doing. And when I think back to how I was when I was in that state, yeah, it was difficult. You couldn't get through to me. It took until I, everything broke down and then I had to just remember stuff time after time of, oh God, yeah, that thing I did, I was totally wrong. 
I owe that person an apology. So much of that. But until that happened, I don't think there'd have been any getting through to me. That caught up in that complete unawareness is such a, just a, a fog of delusion that you live in, this cloud of delusion that you, follows you around of everything's fine, I'm fine, I'm doing great, I'm behaving perfectly, none of my behavior is unreasonable, I don't have to listen to other people, I do listen to other people but they're wrong so I don't have to pay attention to what they've said or take them into account, that kind of thing, you carry it around with you and you just walk around hurting people. This respecting my authority, just deciding things, just going with it, and just stubbornly sticking with them no matter what, is one of the most harmful things we do, I think, short of just outright being horrible to someone. This one is, it's infuriating. You want there to be something you can do about it, and there's nothing you can do about it from either side it hurts everybody involved it's just a painful painful thing and yet we go around doing it all the time deciding we're right we're right why would we be wrong why aren't you paying attention to us respect our authority anyway i'll see you later check do a comment or something hit a like and subscribe call to action do action take care i'll see you later bye